Hi guys, back again. Uh, we've been doing some numbers on the meteorite that um, exploded over Russia this morning. The latitude and longitude was uh, 55 degrees 9 minutes 53.17 seconds north by 61 degrees 24 minutes points, but sorry, 24 minutes, 01.42 seconds east. And it was an elevation of 253 metres. So that, that's how high it was when it exploded. It no, no, sorry, that's, that's the city above sea. Oh, okay, yeah. so that's the elevation of the city over which it exploded, how high it is above sea level. Now, we'll go through Joel's numbers first. He did uh, some measuring. What's the 253? What's that from? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> it's late at night. It's after midnight here. 12.36 a.m. as a matter of fact. <laughs> Saturday morning, so. <laughs> All right. So um, 253 in Hebrew is alas, ah, uh, and woe. Hmm. 5509 is a moving back or away, dross. And then in Greek, 953, which is the minutes, it's 550953, to profane and desecrate. And then Greek 509 is from above, from a higher place of things, which come from heaven or God. And it leads to 507, which is up, upwards, above, on high, of the quarters of heaven, northward, which of course uh, Russia is northward. And that's where we're heading to. And yes, the uh, solar system is moving northward, continuing to push through. So then we've got in Greek 550, to speak out, set forth, declare, to forbid, to give up, renounce. In Greek 612, which is the uh, uh, 61 degrees 24 minutes east, it's um, 612, a replying, an answer. And then in Greek, the 142, which is the second count, 1.42 east, to raise up, elevate, lift up. And in Hebrew, 142 is to be great, be majestic, wide, noble. And then Yah's done some initial measuring from the meteor to the famous solar eclipse announcing the arrival of the rebirth of the Christ on the 25th of January, 1944, where that uh, occurred it's measuring 8,888.8 uh, miles from Yahweh's rebirth place. Um, it is 26 degrees, 18 minutes. 2618 means to burn up. Miles. 2618 oh. miles. Oh, you've got degrees. Yeah, 2618 miles. Oh, okay. It's the descending passage of the Great Pyramid. Oh, 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 I see. 18. Right, right, 2618 miles. Come yeah, and that's the descending passage, 26 degrees, 18 minutes. 2618 in a Greek is to burn up down to the ground, consume utterly, which, of course, is exactly what happened, as you witnessed in the video. Now, the measuring of the latitude and longitude to Tugum 6672, okay, which is, um, it must be kilometres, nautical miles is 3323, which in Greek is Messiah. Then also you've got anointing oil, 7634 leads, which must be the kilometres, leads to 763, which is Ashra. Do we have a 310? <laughs> Hello. Hello. 
Anyway, Messiah and Ashraf. <laughs> and what else was there, babe? There was, did you write them down more? No, that's not. It goes on it's, uh, several places like the Jesus statue in Rio, right. the Great Pyramids, yes. um, North Pole, South Pole, um, Tulip Close. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Turgum, of course. Mm. Um, now, what's interesting about Turgum is uh, the distance from that 888.8 uh, latitude, 25 degrees mm. underneath the Great Pyramid, which is 8888.8, my birthplace, to Turgum is uh, Almighty God. It's me there with a smile. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, it's interesting because I brought that down because uh, I thought you were going to tell about your uh, oh, right. Africa. Yeah, However, but New Guinea has come up and you've said on, on three different occasions, spear. New Guinea means firstborn. Firstborn. We healed James. James the firstborn. Yeah. And then... Uh, Yes. But several come up with this as a number spear, mm. and um, one might be in Greek, then it's in Hebrew, then it's another number that leads to Greek or Hebrew. Mm. So it's come up three times now as spear. So this um, would be... A lot of lights, two lights. Yes. Where it did form two lights. Right. Um, so this meteor is the spear, and what's to follow mm. it. So it looks like a spear. Yeah. Video. Well, that's what it is. It's a spear of light, and it's, mm. it's the reaction is the... The sound, and of course, the sound can do a tremendous amount of damage. Mm. It doesn't have to hit anything. Mm. Mm. Yeah, well, the, the sonic boom blew all, all these windows out and injured right. now up to 950 people. And that would be the alas, well, didn't, uh, wasn't another measurement a, a funeral? Um, well, no, where, yeah, not a funeral. Funeral. And yeah. the um, sparkle one came up a few times, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. sparkle. Yeah. And strike like lightning. Come up. Okay. Mm. Uh, so uh, this could be the first. Actually, many. two were two of places strike like lightning. Uh, so this could be the uh, first well, many it's spheres. A, it's mm. just a warm up. Yeah. Now, these people should take very seriously that the Essenes had 11 copies of the Book of Enoch. Mm. Okay. Now, the Book of Enoch, uh, when you have 11 copies of something in those days, it's very expensive to make a book that's got 108 verses in it. Mm. 108 to this day. Mm. Uh, when I crashed the logging truck, if you add 108 plus my life as Jesus, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 days, mm. you get 1, 2, uh, 4, 5, 3, mm. which is the age I was when I crashed the truck on this date mm. in 1978. That's right. And also married on this date. In the 1970s, 1987. Mm. And on it goes. Where it stops, nothing else. But take very, very seriously the uh, Book of Enoch. I say it's not scripture. Bullshit, it's not. If the Essenes added it, it's scripture. Mm. Just because the Catholics decided not to make it scripture, that's what they yeah. yeah. So uh, 11, of course, is the. Uh, 11th of January, and the 11th number, of course, all comes up. It's also Ab Abram. Mm. And perishing Hades and destruction. Mm. And of course, the Book of Enoch says they're going to take all evil out. No, there's no ritual buts. No, that's right. Well, it begins with the consummation at the end of well, the age. The first few words in the Book of Enoch are telling that yeah. God is going to come to the earth, you'll be as a man, he's going to destroy you. Yeah, and it's for many generations to come mm. from that point when it was given to him. That's right. uh, and so it saw the judgment of the flood and it saw the consummation at the end of the age, which is the great judgment, which is what we're talking about now. So all evil will be annihilated from face of the earth. So. That's all she wrote, eh? That's all she wrote for tonight? Yep. So, okay. call it a night. Yeah. Morning. Got some editing. To do. Oh, and the um, the uh, other meteor you were talking about. Yeah, the A14. About eight hours about, or something. Yeah, just over eight hours or so. Eight hours, 15 minutes. Right. What's it called? DA14. It's, it's got an actual name, but I can't remember. DA14. 
Yeah. So that would make you it know how they four, give it usually. Yeah, four one one four. D four A one and then fourteen. Mm. D A fourteen. Yeah. They usually give them like a Greek name as well. Okay, this is a YouTube uh, asteroid close approach. Mm. February the 15th, or how appropriate. Oh, that. here we go. Destruction. When overthrew, overthrown. Destruction. 4114. In Hebrew. Width or breadth. Talk about the width of it, don't they? Yeah. The length of it. Yeah. Width. The width. Width of, yeah, I'm sure it was half of a football field when I read mm. about it. If it is the same one. Flat, plot, spread out, broad, wide. Hmm. Interest. This is a comment here. Almost had to call Bruce Willis because Bruce Willis was in that yes. show that went out to divert the push. Yeah, mm, that's uh, right. Blow it up. Apocalypse. We've been yeah. talking about Bruce lately, haven't we? Don't yeah, have today. Yeah. I've said it several times. <laughs> okay. Could be giving you a call soon, Bruce. Soon <laughs> today. <laughs> if that's the case, we'll leave the highway. They're saying here 20,000 <laughs> miles above the Earth. Now, I can guarantee you that they'd have known about this a long time ago and they got a rocket and they're going to try and swing into the Earth. Guaranteed. Mm. So look at Russia. It's got here the closest approach will be 17,225 miles. How close is that? Mm, yeah, between the Earth and the Moon. February, and it looks like it's going to be at 1930. At 1944, I grab you. <laughs> the approach to the view. Right, 1735. I'm not going to do it again. Possible. Can be. Love of Yah. Very interesting. Okay. Good night, guys. <laughs> <laughs>